Hello and welcome to another Blueboard session. So this time it's about external support and loop formulas. So I just put together here again the definitions of the external support of a loop and the loop formula induced by a loop and uh, would like to develop a little bit this program over here. So I guess before we talk about external support and loop formulas, let's look at a loop, right? And here in this example, we I think we have a clear one, right? So A depends on B and B depends on A and, and way back. And this only goes through um, positive body literals. That's a clear loop. So uh, let's just extend this in this atom dependency graph. So we have an arc from A to B and another from B to A. And this guy here is the nodes labeled with A and B along with the two arcs. Uh, constitute a strongly connected subgraph, right? So whenever you take two nodes out of this graph, you always find a path from one node to the other. So you can go from A to B, you can go from B, oh sorry, wrong way, from B back to B, right? And so on and so forth. So the first loop that we find, actually this is currently of course the only one, is loop of program P is the set there is a single single loop and it contains a and b okay so we've already now we have now identified the loop now let's actually look at this program briefly right so looking at at, at such a such a, a pair of rules um, we actually see right that there's only a single stable model and this is the empty set so neither the rule with a nor the rule with b have a, have a finite uh, proof that someone goes back to any facts and there are no even, not even any facts. However, this program has a supported model, and uh, well, another supported model apart from the empty set, namely the model with A and B. And this is actually where the atoms in the loop become true and more or less support uh, each other. Okay, now let's before, I think looking at this program is a bit too boring. Let's extend the program a little bit to make it more interesting. Let's actually suppo suppose there is an external uh, support. So there is a rule that gives us A if something like X is true. Okay, and now let's just check two alternatives, right? Let's actually check the situation where X is true and where X is false. So we have a choice uh, on A, oh, not on A, on a choice on X. Uh, so this is more or less the, the example I have in mind, but since we are looking at, at normal programs, let's actually formulate this um, choice differently, simply by having a rule that says x, whoops, x if what, if, oh, I have my leg space, that was too fat, um, x if not y, and y if not x, right? So this gives us now an even loop which makes x true or y true but never both at the same time. Now, of course, of course we have to adjust our dependency graph. So we introduced new atoms, so there is now a, a new dot for x and another new dot for y. But there's only a single uh, dependency between a head and a positive body literal, which is here, the x and the y. No such, there are no positive body literals here, so there are no dependencies emerging from these rules. That's the only one we have to capture. And this means um, we can now actually derive a from x, right? So here's our, here's our arc. Uh, and again, this has not produced any new cycles, but there is now this new feature that depending on whether x is true or false, the um, the loop has actually an external support or not, right? So let's look at, at this a bit more formally, right? So the only external support of our loop A and B consists of this we have this real this real you see here there's something going in and this is the external support and what is nice its head is in the loop so it's this is the head but the positive body literal uh, do not 
do not belong to the loop. They have x does not belong to 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 where is neither a nor b does not belong to that, right? So great. So we have an external support uh, which is a if x. And now actually we in this case we get two stable models, right? So we get one stable model where let's say x is true and then we have a and then we also have b. So let's just write this down. Oh, how do I write this? Uh, so one stable model contains x and a and b. And now the other stable model, well, if, if y is true, right, then uh, this rule does not apply. And also these rules do not apply. So the second uh, stable model contains only y. But again, there is, if we, if we look at the supported models, there are of course these two guys, but there is uh, also a third one, namely the one where y is true, <coughs> and a and b somehow make each other true. So, if we, so this is more or less, the, again, this uh, spurious supported model that we want to eliminate with the loop formulas. So let's actually look what the loop formula can do for us here. So the loop formula for our loop AB says, well, if one of the atoms in the loop have become true, and again, this is something like an existential quantification, some, at some element, it may be one, maybe two, um, become true, then the body of the external support must also be true. So x must be true. Good. So this means x must hold. And now what we can do is we can take our loop and actually check uh, which of the three now support three supported models are also models of this formula. Well, the first one here, well, if since a and b are true, x must be true as well. Great. So this is also a model of our loop formula. Now, if y is true, well, then neither a nor b are true. Since the, pre since the precondition of the implication is true, the whole implication is true. So this is also a model of our loop formula. Now let's come to the supported yet unstable model. Here we have that a and b, both of them are true. So more or less the, pre the precondition of the implication is true, but x is false. So this model is actually not a model of this formula. And th in this way, actually, this, this loop, formulae, lo loop formula here allows us to tell apart the stable and the unstable models among the supported models. So this guy and this guy are models, and this is not a model of our loop formula. So this is more or less the way loop formulas provide a sort of I mentioned a litmus test for stable modelhood, right? Well, what an expression. But they allow us to tell whether a supported model is stable or not. Okay, anyway, I hope uh, this little explanation with the stylus helped a little bit and it's a nice add-on to the slides. Well, and well, you see by the, by the date, actually you, you don't see that, but um, let me pull this up. So I wish you all a very Merry Christmas, right? And uh, well, uh, bear with me in, in the new year. Okay, all the best and stay safe. Bye.